If you don't know yourself, you will be an instrument to someone who knows themselves. It took me a long time to know myself, but once I did, there wasn't any convincing me that I wasn't that person, you know? It can happen because there's no excuse when you choose something, they give you, you know, go and how you learn on the streets when, they cho when you Fine. chose it. The other person gets carried away with the ego of the side of things. For me, ego is the enemy. I hate ego. I hate, in fact, when I'm blowing it, I just go and keep myself inside some place. Like, because it, I don't want to. Just to make it. sure that, that your thing, ego. It ain't, it ain't, no matter how big you are, it ain't, before you know, you'll be like, I'm an ass God, I'm God. And you're not. <laughs> you know, so like, I de check the ego, you know, but not a lot of people know this. I read a book called Ego is the Enemy hmm. a long time ago. So I saw the workings of ego before I even got any clout. So I was like, hey, I see you. I spot you. I'm moving to the left. I'm dodging. I'm weaving. You never are bigger than yourself. You cannot be more than what you are. Hmm. Fame is very fleeting. Hmm. It's only for a short time. You can never be there permanently. Except people like David Doe that every day will be shocking us with the way he's keeping up with the fame. But hmm. it's really hard for you to continuously have him. When, you, when he hits you, what do you want to do with it? For me, I know what I want to do with it. I want to help my women because we are suffering some things that we they keep quiet about. You know, once it hits, I'll just first slap that message first. Boom. And then if the fame wants to stay, to stay. If it wants to go, go. But fame is nobody for keeps. It's not anybody's. And it's the most addictive drug. <laughs> and you'll be like, oh, no, no, no. I'm doing it for the middle of the night. You know, honey, you're really clout chasing out here. Like you're like mm -mm. You're chasing your you're chasing drug, the drug, the high, mm -hmm. the high. And the real people that love you, sometimes when that high comes, they don't like it. Mm. You know, they're like, ah, I beg, because they see you, you're stressing, and like they're like the people who really love you. They're like, dude, why are you chasing this thing? Because you always are stressed out, out of your mind. You're not yourself. Your, your talent is not even thriving. You're just all over the place. And, you know, yeah, fame is an addictive drug. When I moved to America, I didn't have a work permit. So for the first time in a long time that I'm used to the hustle, I had nothing. You couldn't work. You had so to wait thing for that. I love about social media. It, it changed my life. I started posting my videos that I would go and regularly do for artists online. I started for free, you know. I like your song. I danced to it. I like my own song. I danced to it. I was dance I was posting every day. Social media gave me work inside my house mm. because I can feed breastfeeding. Nobody knows. I close Bobby and I come and dance. Five minutes. I posted. Oh my gosh, you know she's still alive, you know. Mm. And so I really appreciate social media for that. That.